Hello, it's Mrs. Rowe, um, and I'm here to show you how to make a pinch pot. So you're going to start with a ball of clay, and you are going to start by rolling it into a rounder ball, so it's kind of lumpy right now, and you want it to be more round and like a sphere. So you can roll it around on your mat like this, or you can roll it in your hands. Or do a little bit of both until it gets more round. Um, and it doesn't have to be perfect, but you want it to be, you know, not so lumpy and floppy. So once it's pretty round, and like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. So this is this is good enough. Um, I'm gonna take my thumb and push it down into the clay, and you don't know, in the middle. And you don't want to push too hard and go all the way through, but you want to push it down pretty hard and get that um, thumb in there so that it makes a hole. And this is going to be the start of the hole that makes the inside of the pot. And so, you, um, like I said, you want to get it pr down pretty far so uh, you can make it go pretty deep, uh, but you don't want to go all the way through because this is going to be the bottom of your pot here. And um, here's your thumb. And then what you're going to do is take your fingers and put them all together like this. And you're going to um, pinch like this instead of like this. So you think about pinching maybe like this, but you're going to pinch like this when you make your pinch pot with your fingers all stuck together. And um, so you're going to put your thumb in there and pinch with your fingers and squeeze the clay and then turn it. Uh, so when you squeeze it, it get, makes that hole in the middle get bigger and it also makes the side of it get skinnier right here. And you won't need to, um, if you just pinched in one spot, it wouldn't make a pinch pot. This part would never get big, bigger. It would just stay that big lump and this part would just get really skinny and floppy. So you need to turn the pot every time you pinch. So you pinch it one time and you turn it a little bit. You pinch it and you turn it. And you can turn it on the mat really easy because it slides. So you could just pinch and turn, pinch and turn, pinch and turn, pinch and turn. And you want to keep just pinching and turning until your pinch pot gets nice and, you know, a little bit bigger and open. Um, you don't want to pinch too hard, though, because uh, I'll show you what happens if you pinch too hard, especially on the top, is uh, it gets, starts to get really sloppy and uh, skinny and it doesn't really hold its shape and you're not going to be very happy with it, I think, if you pinch it too hard. Uh, so what you want to do is make sure that you're gentle with it so it stays nice and even. Um, if you do this, uh, if the clay is wet enough, you can kind of fold it down, squish it, really rub that clay back together, um, and try and save it if you get it too skinny at the top. And then uh, even that out. So I just tried to like save that. A really floppy pot. So my pot might not look great, but I saved it from looking really floppy. Um, <clears throat> and then you pinch and turn and keep pinching and turning as you go around and uh, your pinch pot will start to form. And uh, as you go, um, you might notice that the clay is starting to form some cracks along the edge. Um, and the longer that you uh, pinch the pot and touch it with your hands, the drier the clay gets. And when the clay gets dry, it starts to get cracks in it. And uh, it's not a really bad thing or anything. You can fix it. Um, all you need to do is get a little bit of water and just dip your finger into the water and spread it along the edge to smooth out the cracks that you've um, that have formed just because it's gotten dry. Um, you don't want to add too much water though. See how I, um, smooth and wet it already looks? Just from That was just one little dip from my finger. Um, if you add way too much water, 
it will get too wet and it will get floppy and it will be really hard to hold its shape and you won't be happy with that either. It will start to turn into slip, which is that glue for the clay. And you don't want your clay to be made out of glue. Uh, you want it to be more solid. <laughs> uh, so don't add too much water. I only added one drop on my finger and I'm still using that wetness from that finger to uh, smooth the rest of it out. And maybe just add it one more to smooth out the rest. Uh, so that's only two drops that I did on my whole pot to make it a lot nicer and smoother. Um, and that's all I needed. Um, so once you're done with that, you can um, kind of use your hands to form it to make sure that it's nice and round. You can feel around and feel the parts that feel a little bit thick and squeeze a little bit more or pinch a little bit more on those spots. And uh, once you're done, then you can move on to the next step of uh, what you're going to do with that pinch pot. And uh, there it is.